Hi, welcome to this channel. My name is Naima and a few days ago I decided that I will start eating a little bit healthier and more home-cooked meals. So I can make my own country dishes but I want to try something international and I've been living in South Korea for five years and I was like, why have I not made any Korean dish till now? Which is, I mean, it's been five years. What was I doing? Anyway, so today I decided to make takkalbi which is my most favorite dish. It is chicken with uh, marinated with sauces and onions and other things. So you'll see in a minute. And uh, so I decided to make takkalbi because it, was a, it is my most favorite dish so I went out and bought the ingredients I'm sorry I didn't film buying the ingredients part I think I will film it in the next videos but for now I didn't film that I'm actually really excited because I, I, I don't know how it's gonna turn out and also it is the first time I'm making it I mean if it's not that obvious I just said it so <laughs> this is the first time I'm making it and I'm really excited so let's see what happens also if you're wondering why I'm wearing a cap inside my house it's because I was really unhappy with the way my hair looked so I just wore a cap and tied them anyway uh, so we're gonna go to the kitchen now and start preparing and um, let's see what we make today So I have a chicken out in this bowl to defrost and I'm still waiting. I don't know. I think it's almost done So um, I'm gonna cut it into pieces and then try to Marinate it according to the video. So let's see what happens. Here's the chicken. I cut it into these small pieces kind of thing and I'm gonna marinate it and also we need onion here so I cut some onion as well in the video she forgets that onion was there so she cuts it in the, at the end so I remember it and I cut it before she forgets so now I'm gonna go and marinate the chicken and the reason why I cut onion before uh, is because and in the video she didn't cut onion because she forgets and at the end she remembers so I just cut it because I've seen the whole video anyway I'm gonna put the video there I'm gonna play it while marinating the chicken so I know what she's doing and also link the video down in description box so you can see the whole recipe i mean me putting out the whole video here uh doesn't make sense because you can just go and see her video and uh let's see how we do with the marination so we also need a garlic and i forgot so uh, i'm gonna chop garlic real quick and then we will add it in the chicken Okay. Good. Cut this as fine as I can without chopping So that's like the off. garlic. Okay, so I'm so gonna put garlic good. first. I'm gonna, put it I'm gonna try to have better angle settings next time. I'm so sorry, I am not so good at it. So I'm gonna put this here. And I'm also not sure how much onion we were supposed to use, but I used half. So hopefully it turns out okay. Uh, let's see what happens. So, I have put garlic and onion inside the bowl, and let's see what is the next step. Here we have the soy sauce. This is the, I don't know, uh, it says naturally brewed soy sauce. So this is the one that, I, I don't know uh, if this is the one they use here, but it said the one that is most commonly used in Korea, it says on the back. So I just bought this one, so this is what it is. It was each channel was 2001 and I bought it from Daiso. I actually was kind of surprised that they have it there in Daiso. And this is okay. I'm gonna have to open it first. I put one tablespoon. This is my spoon. I'm gonna take one tablespoon of soy sauce. So this is what I'm taking. This is what I'm putting inside. I don't know if I was supposed to mix it, but I did. Anyway, okay, so the next thing we have to put is... Also, I have actually kind of uh, substituted a few ingredients because I didn't have the exact same thing. So I don't know if it's going to work, but we will see. I forgot to buy rice vinegar. So uh, the only vinegar I have is the apple vinegar. And I'm sure this is not a good idea to put an apple vinegar uh instead of rice vinegar i don't know but uh this is all i have right now so we're gonna use it and now we're gonna get a tablespoon of soy sauce soy sauce two is done of rice oh my god it's two tablespoons of rice vinegar i don't know if i should put two tablespoons of this because this is not even rice vinegar so i don't know 
Smells... Okay. I guess this will do. Smells like vinegar. <laughs> I don't know. But... So, we're done with this. And now, the next thing she's putting is... Let's add some spice. We're gonna get some hot pepper powder. So she's using the kochu karuk, which is the Korean chili powder, red chili powder, and I don't have it. So national chili powder. <laughs> um, this is the only chili powder I have, and this is, I think, really good. So I'm gonna use this. I don't know if there's something special in Korean chili powder. I should have done my research better before, but I don't know. So uh, I'm gonna just use this one because that's what I have right now. So, um, I'm gonna put one tablespoon maybe. I like my food sp spicy and I put a lot of red pepper. So let's see. So this is what I'm. Uh, okay, great. So this is what I'm using. Okay, so three tablespoons of this kochujang. This I'm, I'm so proud I bought this because this is like one of the really main Korean ingredients, like one of the main ingredients in all the Korean dishes, I think. which pepper but um i think it's black pepper because she was grinding it so i'm gonna take my black pepper and grind it okay i think that's enough and now she said we have to mix everything okay after this we add chicken so I'm gonna mix everything first. I'm gonna mix with one hand and also show you what I'm doing. So. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I put everything in. Uh, apparently, I am incapable of mixing with one hand, so I'm gonna have to put the camera down again and mix it well. Okay, so this is what it looks like at the end. And now we're going to add chicken in it. So now I'm just going to mix this all together to make sure that all of the little pieces are coated evenly. So I've just transferred the contents into another Tupperware bowl. And now I'm going to marinate this for it. So this is the chicken and everything else that we used before. So onion, garlic, pepper, paste, vinegar, and uh, what was the other thing? Yeah, soy sauce. So everything is here and this is the mixture. And then she said marinate it at least for 30 minutes. So we're going to just put it here. Put a plate over it and... I'm just going to put it here, put a plate on it, and let it sit for 30 minutes. And until then, I'm going to clean my kitchen because uh, I really don't like the mess we make after cooking. Okay, so um, okay, so it's been almost 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I think. And now we're going to... I'm, I'm Actually, I, it's just that I'm too impatient to wait. And so we're just going to start cooking. So it's almost ready and takogi is really good with cheese and this is all I had in my fridge. I had this last slice of cheese so I don't know what kind of cheese they use. They use grated cheese for sure but I don't know what kind was real or what. This is cheddar cheese so uh, I'm just gonna put it here. <laughs> I don't know. Um, takogi is really, I love it with cheese. It's, it's like the best so I'm just gonna, I don't know, mix it somehow. Cheese burns really quick so just don't heat it like directly so don't 
put it at the bottom of the pan just like mix it quickly and stuff and I'm going to mix it quickly and I'm just going to take it out of the pan because uh, so I'm going to mix it quickly and I'm going to take it out of the pan because it's cooked they just put it at the end and they serve in really big dishes at the restaurant so just put it there and then put a lid over it so everything is ready it's here I have the lettuce here that could be with uh, cheese and the rice and I also have kochujang here. I don't know. They serve it with some kind of sauce as well. So, um, and there are rice in there. Great. So, they serve it with some kind of uh, sauce. I don't know which sauce. Maybe it's kochujang. Maybe it's not. I'm not sure. But this is all I had. So, I just put it here. And um, they also use garlic. But I unfortunately ran out of garlic. So, we're just going to eat it like this. But it looks so good. And now we're going to do the taste test. Okay, let's do the taste test now before it gets cold. So, I'm going to make a wrap. And this is how you do it. Take the lettuce and then you make a wrap. You put some rice here, which uh, I have dropped, but that's okay. We're going to take some more. And they have sticky rice. I think they go better with this or I just got used to it, like eating sticky rice with this. And then I'm going to take some chicken. And this is covered in kochich. Anyway. And then I'm going to, oh my god, this looks so good. Okay. I'm going to take some chicken and everything else, like the onions and everything. And then they also put sauce, but this spoon was already covered with a lot of sauce. So I think this will do. And I also enjoy using garlic with it. Like, I love eating garlic with this wrap. But as I said, I ran out of it. So we're just going to wrap it. I don't know how good I will be wrapping it with one hand. Also, I think I put a little too much of everything here. Uh, yep, I did. It's uh, great. Okay, now I'm going to eat it. This is actually not bad. This is actually kind of similar to... Not exactly similar. Uh, one thing, I put too much black pepper. I can actually taste it and um, it's not the best. <laughs> so... I put too much black pepper in there, but the other things, I think they're okay. And I think it's the sauce. I don't know. I don't think it's me who cooked that well. I think it's the sauce, but this actually tastes like thakkalbi. I wasn't, I, it's because I wasn't expecting that I can make it and I can make it taste similar to the actual thing, but it actually turned out okay. I like it. And um, I think I'm going to finish it now. <laughs> so yeah, this is the final thing i have made a mess here a little bit of mess here but that's okay we're gonna clean it later so this is it i'm gonna finish takabi now and i'm really excited to eat it and i'm gonna take this cap off and also the jacket off and change into something comfortable after this and then finish my dinner uh so yeah uh this is it this is it for me uh making takabi trying to make takabi kind of also when you make it don't put too much black pepper because um i can like, actually taste it in mine and uh, it's not the best combination. I think you have to put it in like real moderation to make it Make everything taste perfect. I don't know. Uh, it was the first time so I don't mind I am actually kind of excited and happy and my mom will be proud <laughs> So anyway, if you guys make this dish, uh, let me know in the comments and let me know how it was and if you follow this recipe or some other recipe or uh, Jenin's recipe and yeah that's it so if you like this video subscribe to this channel and thumbs up the video as well and i will see you next time with another recipe so take care of yourself